Hi, this is Dr. Sagar. Today we'll be discussing erectile prolapse reduction with thyroid repair. Thyroid repair is basically placing a non-absorbable suture or a band in the intersphincteric space. The main procedure motto is keep erectile prolapse from away. So now we there are the procedures. There are the procedures in which we do the reduction manually with the help of sponge gauze or with the help of uh, manual reduction with the fingers. In this, we are able to uh, redu- reduce the uh, rectal prolapse with the help of the mop, with uh, holding the mop in the uh, sponge holding forceps and reducing it. So it is completely reduced. As soon as it completely reduced, we have posted the patient in a spinal anesthesia for the thyroid repair. So thyroid repair is basically it is done manually to patients who are having a high risk or very de- debil- debilitated patients or in the children so there is chances of uh, recurrence are more common in the male uh, having uh, adult as a high recurrence which is seen mainly in them goal of this procedure is basically the palliation it is nothing but there is just uh, intersphincteric place or a plane we have we, we, we will be keeping a non absorbable suture so if you see in the procedure uh, i have uh, marked the uh, deep palpated the deep sphincter muscle below is my uh, below the uh, below and above below is will be my entry entry point and uh, where i marked and uh, above is the exit point so i will be uh, palpating the deep sphincter and uh, below the superficial external sphincter we will be entering we will be joining both the marking so that we will be in that plane uh, the suture will be passed from the entry point which is downward side and the exit point which is upward which was which was marked again i am palpating the deep sphincter muscle uh, deep sphincter muscle is been palpated and now we will be entering into the uh, sphincters we will be go we will be going into below the superficial external sphincter entry point will be the uh, below below one the uh, superficial the trick behind this procedure is the we will be beyond the superficial external sphincter muscle uh, the enter uh, entry will be into the fascia for the deep external sphincter the fascia to uh, introduce uh, fascia fascia will be seen and uh, the artery will be introduced into that fascia so now we we, we are entering into the uh, superficial uh, external sphincter we will be entering uh, we will be uh, we will be doing the dissection till the fascia is seen so we'll be seeing the fascia which is white uh, will be seeing on the uh, whitish color so we do the dissection till we reach the uh, fascia we have to open that fascia this is uh, first what we'll be able to see is the superficial the muscle which is seen clearly that is superficial external sphincter muscle we are able to see properly now we will be entering into that and we'll be entering the fascia deep to the external deep external sphincter So now we will be taking the right angle and we will be retracting it and we will go till we enter the fascia. We the we are the end point will be we will be going beyond the superficial external sphincter muscle from the entry point which is below we will be passing the artery to till the exit point. If uh, during the uh, insertion of the artery, we have to keep one finger or two finger into the rectum to avoid the injury or to end, uh, to avoid the entry of the artery into the uh, rectal wall. We will be keeping the finger inside to avoid the injury into the rectal wall.
so we'll be coming from our upper point that is the exit point this point we will be coming out and uh, we will be pass our suture that is proline proline number one is used in this procedure we will be pass suture from that point now we'll go the same procedure will be done on the left side we again will be entering below the superficial external sphincter we will enter beyond the superficial external sphincter muscle enter the fascia for the deep external sphincter fascia to introduce the artery from the opposite side also and we will be coming on the same point where we we entered into uh, the uh, uh, the uh, suture material was uh, kept at the same point we will be coming out the second artery second uh, site artery So it is seen clearly our artery is coming from the same point and from this point we will be again taking our suture and it will encircle the uh, encircle around the rectal rectum. So the main point or the main uh, placing why we placing this thyroid stitch is basically it is a non-absorbable suture in the intrasphincteric plane so keep the rectum from the prolapse again i'm telling it is mainly done in the patients with the high risk very de debilitated patients also it is done uh, in children ke children's it is not indicated in the adult patient as there is a high recurrence rate is seen in our case we have done this procedure because patient was having a high risk 80 years old patient with the history of uh, head injury with the history of epilepsy is on is on also blood thinners history of ihd was also there patient has uh, multiple stent history previously so it was very comorbid patient so we have done this procedure in this case so on table we will we, we we are able to see that there is you know uh, complete you know, band has been formed and uh, this this procedure during this procedure during this step you have to keep the two fingers inside so that the anal uh, opening is uh, not tighten up so that patient will not complain post operatively so you will tell your assistant to keep the two finger inside and then you will tighten the knot this will help basically it is a band or a non-absorbable band or suture which will be formed and patient will be uh, will, will will there will be less chances of prolapse post-operatively again the reconfirmation has been done you first pass one finger then pass two fingers as soon as you have confirmed there are two fingers are easily passing you cut the knot after cutting the knot you have to direct the knot at you know uh, nine o'clock position and so that patient post-operatively will not have a, a, a pain at the site of the operation you will close the sphincters which were opened would we, we, we uh, during the entry point we have opened the external superficial external sphincter will close the sphincter we will bury the knot after the burying of the knot we will be closing the skin with the help of ethylon 2-0 and we will be completing the procedure So here we are burying the knot 
burying of the knot will be done with the help of the y creel y creel 20 can be used then we'll be closing the entry point and then the same stitch will be continued or give it taken in the exit point and the procedure is completed goal of this procedure is palliation not done not indicated in the cases of adult rectal prolapse as there is chances of higher recurrence rate good results are seen in the high risk patients very debilitated patients and children so for the teaching purpose we have done this procedure after the first stitch is over the entry point and exit point are closed clean with the betadine and procedure is been completed thank you so much